Hello there, my name is Darren Birchall and I'm the owner of a company called Balestra Living History, offering, amongst other things, World War II Blitz home front workshops via my website blitzschool.co.uk and also a new thing we've got which is Victorian Inventions Workshops via victorianworkshop.co.uk. Now, I'm here to give you some details about both these workshops which, I think it's safe to say, will probably be completely different to anything that you've ever accessed before in terms of an out-of-class history experience for your pupils, which I think really accelerates pupil learning. Now, I say out-of-class in terms of the workshops being different to a regular classroom history lesson, but in fact, one of the best things about the workshops is that I can come to your school to deliver them uh, in comfort, meaning that the admin for yourselves is much less than, say, for example, if you were to visit an external site or museum with all the added cost of coaches etc that this comes with and of course we've not got a problem having to send letters home and things like that and the risk assessments which I provide uh, before the visit so it's all done for you and it also means that none of the time is lost for traveling meaning that pupils get a full five hours of hands-on artifact handling and activities as opposed to perhaps two or three from or even less from an out-of-school visit so let me tell you a little bit about the format of each workshop and why I think we've come up with something that is really good value in terms of your pupil learning. So the first thing I should mention is that central to the workshops are the wide range of artefacts that I bring in along with me, which is currently running at between 40 and 50 different items for both the World War II and Victorian workshops, with more being added all the time. Um, for me, artefacts are everything. It's important because, in my opinion, there's no better way to learn about history than through the handling and investigation, of course, of primary sources of the things that were there at the time. Now, each of the two website, websites feature a fuller list of the artefacts and these pictures, etc., which you can look at in more detail in your own time. But for now, here's a list of just a few of them. We'll just go through a few pictures and I'll just talk you through them. Okay, so starting with the World War II workshop, I bring along gas masks, quite a variety, all the way from infant gas masks up to full-size adult gas masks and other related equipment. Various bomb parts, uh, parts of shrapnel collected by children during the war and items the wardens used to deal with bombs. Blackout lamps, a 1942 Bakelite handset, phone handset, pair of medals given to an air raid warden, uh, a complete first aid ARP kit, and also a large file of documents, such as letters and even a receipt, a signed receipt for an Anderson shelter. Um, so as you can see, everything there all comes from the war and we use that in our teaching. Likewise, in my Victorian workshop, workshop we have artifacts from the period, such as a typewriter, which featured the first QWERTY keyboard, first ever, an 1890 sewing machine, which pupils can try to thread themselves, and perhaps one of the best things is a working electric telegraph set for them to send Morse code to each other. Uh, we've also got a working model of Stevenson's rocket, a set of inventions from around the home, a genuine set of cameras from the time, which is my favourite, uh, plus many other similar items. Um, also, each workshop includes several mystery objects that really challenge the pupils' inquiry skills and really make them think about uh, how the items were used. Now that's not all, because as well as a specific handling task, when the pupils investigate all of them, we then go on to use them in a range of hands-on activities for the rest of the day, when everybody gets a chance to find out what it was really like to be actually using the items during the period. Now, this is where the pupils' learning is really consolidated, and where they get a real sense of, sense of empathy about what it was like to be really using these items and living at the time. So. A uh, quick rundown of the current activities. Again, these are, these are constantly changing, but it never goes worse. It always goes better. We're always improving them. So we'll just run through them now. So for, for Blitz School, which takes the form of a simulated air raid warden training program, we put pretend incendiary bonfires out using a real stirrup pump. We bandage each other up using the first aid kit, using the instructions from the time. And we black out windows using real instructions from the time. We also offer a drama workshop in which every child is involved in four scenes from World War II. So nobody taking turns, everybody does it all at once. So for the Victorian Inventions Workshop, the pupils get the chance to send Morse code, as I said, to the friends using the telegraph set. They power a small steam workshop uh, using compressed air, as I mentioned, with its own engine, and also send a model of Stevenson's rocket 
down the track under their own power in our very own mini version of the Liverpool to Manchester Railway. They also get a chance to dress up in Victorian costumes and then to take photographs of each other using, using our genuine brass J Lancaster 1888 lens and their own version of a Victorian photography studio. And for child protection issues, I uh, just need to mention that, of course, you get to keep the photos at the end of the day and we take nothing back with us. So I hope that's given you a bit of an insight and then uh, let's, you, let's you sort of realise why I think we've created a unique experience for the pupils. Um, teachers have told us that both workshops have had a massive impact on pupils' knowledge and also the writing, which as a class teacher myself, Oh, I'm sure you will agree, it's a good indicator of the learning that has taken place. It's something that I used to always use as an indicator. And one thing more as well, it's also a great deal of fun, which can't be a bad thing. OK, so please take the time to have a good look at the websites listed at the end of the video. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching, and I'll get back on with my filming now. OK, thank you.